yeah, this is happening. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing and uh, dollhouses. Yeah, I ordered this dollhouse. I am 35 years old, and for the first time, I am going to build a dollhouse right here on this channel. So I'm hoping this is gonna be sort of a series where I document, you know, building the house, you know, decorating it, doing some painting. If you don't know, uh, we recently have downsized from a four bedroom house into a two bedroom rental apartment, and I'm going a little stir crazy. So I needed a house to work on, and I thought, what better than this uh, 1 12th scale Beachside Bungalow by Real Good Toys. I got it from Hobby Lobby. There was a 40% off coupon and I am ready. I am totally ready. So this is something I've probably wanted to do since I was a little kid. I've never had a legit dollhouse. I've certainly never built one DIY'd one myself. So I feel a little giddy. I've been going down this whole dollhouse miniatures rabbit hole and it's a lot of fun. So I bought some supplies, you know, just to prepare. I think I bought too many supplies, but you know what, that's okay. So let me show you what I got and then we'll unbox the dollhouse and start doing what's called dry fitting the dollhouse. Apparently you take like painter's tape or masking tape and before you actually put the house together, you make sure all the pieces, the main pieces fit together. Also, I've been reading a lot of blogs, I know, and apparently it's also a good idea to like paint some of the surfaces before you really put the house together because once you put the house together, it's hard to like paint it and put wallpaper on it. So I'm hoping to customize this house to, you know, my, my ideal of a dream beach house because let's be honest, I'm not gonna have a beach house for a really long time. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, let's, let's open the box and see what is inside. Let's get this thing out of the box. I mean, there are only a million pieces in here. Painter's tape didn't hold super well, but since the pieces are MDF, I worried about damaging the pieces with stronger tape. Some things I learned, two people are better than one. I struggled to hold the pieces up myself. Take note of the order you're putting the house together so you know which surfaces you can pre-prime and paint. My front roof section had a fracture in it which later turned into a full out break. Real Good Toys has a policy to replace missing or damaged pieces one time only if you contact the company. I received a replacement piece in good shape fairly quickly. So, all right, the first thing I got besides this dollhouse, and this is the, again, the beachside bungalow. And uh, I thought it was cool. It's a smaller, they have another house called the like Craftsman Classic Bungalow, but that one seems to be discontinued, so kind of a bummer. But I got this little dollhouse toolkit. So it comes apparently with everything you need for building dollhouses, like sanding blocks. Uh, what else is in here? Um, what are these clamps, I think? Comes with like a pin vise, lots of new terms I'm learning. Hacksaw, little hacksaw, comes with a tiny miter box. And I also bought some really cool looking wood trim. I know I'm starting to sound crazy, but that's okay. And I'll try to link everything below or as much as I can. But yeah, so this I got from Amazon and it comes with lots of cool supplies that on their own I think would have, I think or hope would have cost more than this kit cost, which was $45. But lots of cool stuff in here that looks like fun. Some craft knives, you know, ruler, sanding stuff. So I think this is gonna be a good time. All right, let me, actually, let me put this back. Whoops, hopefully I do not hurt myself. Uh, and I do need to get myself a pair of like safety goggles or safety glasses or something. Okay, so this, actually, this is not really fitting in the box super well. Okay, all right, ah, oh, 
You know what? This is not, yeah. It's not going super well. Let's see if I can fit this in. Okay, here we go. Well, this sort of closes. Okay, that's good. So some other things I picked up are Aline's Original Tacky Glue. According to the directions, this is good for putting the house together. I don't think you use any nails or anything. You're supposed to use this. Um, but I guess this is good because it doesn't dry. Like, it, it's paintable and it dries clear, I think. I also got some Minwax Polycrylic uh, for finishing the wood floors in the house. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stain the floors or if I'm just gonna put poly over them, but I, I heard you need this, plus I used it for another project. In case you can't tell, I went a little overboard in the sample paint department. I'm, I got all my paints in eggshell, and I'll also uh, list below all the colors I chose. I'm gonna do the trim in Polar Bear, and I also got like some pinks. I got some pink, I got some navy blue, uh, a color called Beachside Drive, which is sort of like an aqua color. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with all this, but I also got some doll furniture, I know. And by the way, I don't have any kids, so just to answer that question for you, no kids here. Probably featuring another video, and I'm gonna try to paint that furniture, maybe try to make it look nice. Some of it's from the dollar store. And I might try to make my own like bedding and also maybe use some of my fabric as wallpaper in the house. So we will see. I got lots of these sponge brushes. And I also got some sanding blocks. Apparently these will come in handy and I got some sand paper. Stay tuned until the next installment where you see how much further I've gotten with this dollhouse. I'm really excited to work on this project though. It could crash and fail spectacularly. I don't know. But I'm hoping by the end of this, I have a really cool looking, pimped out dollhouse. Anyways, I'm Jennifer Moore with The Sewing Report. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more of this madness.